team for fun and games. Can you sing all our names? Coach Cotton, Willie Bob. Coach Cotton, Willie Bob. Boogie Woogie Benny too. Boogie Woogie Benny too. Rock Nasura. I'm here with Stephen Karp. Stephen Karp is the person who made the cartoon at the beginning of each of our podcasts. We are going to sit here and we're going to find out how Karp goes about making a cartoon. Karp is a cartoonist. Yes, I am. <laughs> um, all right, well, first thing is, is I don't use paper or pencil. I do everything right here. I can draw everything right into the tablet. Here's Boogie's head. My head. head. Your head. <laughs> Different. So it's kind of a combination between drawing uh -huh. and then like cutout animation. Uh -huh. So we draw and put stuff in the library and then once it's drawn then we kind of animate the pieces. So I'm not really drawing the movement, mm -hmm. the computer's helping me do the movement. No. So and for the hat to open it actually goes through one. This keyframe and then there's that keyframe and they call this an in-between. Uh -huh. An in-between is something in between the frames that helps you complete the motion. With this, what we did was we were recording, we recorded the song Pink and we sent you a copy of it and then you imported it into this program yeah. and then started making a cartoon around it. We decided we wanted to really make the video kind of reflect the lyrics. Ref reflect the lyrics. So we didn't just want to have you guys on screen playing instruments and blobs of color. We wanted to kind of show what was going on. Uh -huh. um, the kids that were dancing or blowing bubble gums or the uh, different animals. Uh -huh. We kind of wanted to show all that. Red and white. When it chews judiciously, it looks out of sight. I just kind of used those images that you guys had and came up with what I thought in my head when I closed my eyes and I listened to the song, what uh -huh. popped into my head, what uh -huh. I imagined. So that's kind of how I came to some of this stuff. Here comes our rhino friend. But the pink ones are the loveliest you can shoot. Maya's really just two drawings. Uh huh. One's, you know, her feet. Her feet are going back and forth. Her feet are going like this. Okay. And then all I do is I, I, I create a, a frame on the stage here. And then I create one over here. Uh huh. Um, so basically, those two drawings are just moving like this, but right. then the whole thing is moving across the screen. The whole thing's moving across the screen. And then I kind of created the jump separately, just with old, just keyframes traditionally. I, I took her parts and, and just posed them in different. So really, so, it's just a series of individual drawings. Yeah. If anyone. So here we have what Annie pops up and eats her bubble gum. She chews it, blows up the bubble. She is made of a couple different drawings. So when she chews, I go back and forth uh -huh. between just those two drawings, but uh -huh. it looks like it looks she's, like chewing. she's chewing. And then she blows up her bubble. <laughs> this is her covered in uh, gum. If Benny wants some bubble gum, the pink kind she will chew. So this is Boogie at his instruments. He's playing the piano. Uh huh. And he's using his, uh, his feet there to, to tap the drum, and he's using also to play the... The, the bass drum. Yeah, the bass drum. So, so Boogie really just has two different hand movements, and then I just took that and I slid them back and forth along the keyboard, uh -huh. and they're just repeating. So oh, so they're moving like this. So it looks like you're doing a, a Boogie Woogie uh -huh. piano. Well, he's done a very good <laughs> job, but I'm a very handsome man. <laughs> And then when I heard the kids singing, we realized we, we need to put some kids in. So uh, what I did is I created four different kids, two boys and two girls, um, off of one kid. I created a boy uh -huh. uh, based on sort of a picture I got of, of Coach's kid. Uh -huh. I mean, he's just different parts that I've created. Uh -huh. and, uh, and then I can just... <laughs> create different versions of that kid. <laughs> kid. So he's really just made of different parts. The heads are different heads. 
you go inside the hair file, you can see all the different hairs. So it was a way to create four kids, really just off of one kid. Um, so that's another kind of cool trick that you can use when you're designing a program like this. It's okay with the boys, but it's loved by the girls. So exciting to be here at Cartoon Studios and yes. see how the magic happens. There's a color known all around the world. It's okay with the boys, but it's loved by the girls. You get it when you mix red and white. When it's used judiciously, it looks out of sight. Piglets are wrapped in his glow while